Hey, how's it going guys? It's going off grid. Today we got one of my batteries I built. So this, I totally changed. It went from 26 volts. This is now 12 volts I built. Uh, this is one I made for myself. And I was testing a, a reliable 3000 watt inverter for reliable, just making sure it could output the power uh, that it, it says, the 3000 watts. It was actually a return, so they sent it to me to test. And I tested it, and it was able to put out the full 3,000 watts, so I'm not sure why that person returned it. Um, anyway, so I was doing a test on this battery here, and this battery can only put out about 120 amps at about, if it's full charge, 14 volts. And I was using a 20 amp, 20 amp charger on top of that, and I was just going for, for surges at first, uh, starting larger loads. And I believe I damaged the BMS in here. And uh, so I eventually hooked up another 12 volt battery in line with it because this, this cannot provide 3000 watts. So after doing so, I, uh, um, I was able to push the full 3000 watts. But shortly after the BMS, is, that's when it started acting all funny. So... Like now, if you hook the, you can't connect to this without a charger hooked to it. So I think maybe one of the connectors inside may be uh, burnt. I don't know. So we're going to take it apart. We're going to look inside and see what's going on. And I just realized this battery here is different than all the rest. This one only says 2685. Well, it's a good thing that this battery, the batteries inside were all shot. So I got, I got all my money back from battery hookup, and then I, I got to keep the case for free. That's why this has different batteries inside of it. But I just realized that. Look at that. Most of the other ones, they're just under 3 kilowatts. This one's quite a bit under. So, anyways, let's see what's inside. Okay. Just looking at this. Physically, I can't see anything wrong with it. Nothing's burnt up or anything like that, other than... I believe the BMS got hot enough to melt itself off of the glue this time. All the batteries that I make for other people, I use uh, JB Weld. But for mine, I just was like, ah, I'm just going to use some hot glue. But apparently these BMSs can get pretty hot when you're pushing around 100, 120 amps. So I'm going to see now if this BMS is shot. If not, if it's not shot, that's awesome. I can just put it back together. Maybe there was... I don't know. This was just dangling in here, so maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe not. But uh, we'll see. I got another one, so I can replace it fairly easily. I just got to put a couple ends on it like this. I like this BMS because they populated all uh, three spots with, uh, I believe this is 8-gauge wire. So it should be able to handle 100 amps, 120 amps for at least a little while before they get warm. And yeah, let's see what's up with this thing. Okay, so in all my years of dealing with cheap Alley BMSs and eBay BMSs, this is the only one that's failed like this. I've had one other BMS fail ever, and that was a really cheap 30 amp, uh, no Bluetooth, it was like 30 bucks. But this is the first, like, decently expensive one. Like, this one after shipping everything is like 80 bucks. So I've never had one fail before. But it is looking like that is the problem. It is just sending complete false information. Uh, I believe I blew the output FETs. And now, without those output FETs feeding to the battery side, I believe it's just it just doesn't know what's going on anymore. The second I put power feeding back through the battery side, all of a sudden it starts working properly. It starts reading the batteries. But, uh, yeah... So, we're going to replace that with a new one, and I should be back in business. And, of course, there will not be a warranty on this, because it's from AliExpress. I think you barely get, like, 20 days warranty, or maybe 30 days warranty or something. But this, I've, I usually order these in bulk, like I'll order, like, six of them at a time or something like that to have for my projects. So, I'll order them, and then I'll have them for, like, six months to a year, so there's no warranty, obviously.
All right, so we got a tiny bit of an upgrade with this one, this BMS here, because we got two temperature sensors where the other one just had one. So that's kind of nice. We can put one on each side of the battery in case you have this, like, say, on the RV. Say this was in the RV and this was, like, on the inside of the camper where it's staying a little bit warmer than the outside. So we can do that. And we're going to have a working unit after this. Okay, we're back together. Got the new BMS in. Everything's hooked up. Everything seems to be working just fine. We're charging. It showed uh, everything well on the BMS side. I'll, I'll insert a picture. And uh, yeah, everything's working great. So I got my battery back. It is a 100 amp hour uh, LifePo 4 battery. Uh, the cells are from batteryhookup.com. And if you use my code GOING, you will get like 5% off or something. It's not very much, but I mean, better than nothing, I guess. Anyways, thanks for watching.